temperatures they come in. And maybe just one look from you or one smile from you and their lives change. Something just opens up in that life. Uh, how does that happen? This is really a very inexplicable thing, very difficult to define exactly both the broadcasting and the receiver. One thing is sure in spirituality, every soul will be blessed by God because God has grace upon every soul. Everybody will get it definitely when the time is ripe. So when the time is ripe for a soul, and they come in touch with the yogi because the yogi's grace is always flowing automatically. So automatically whoever develops that faith can get it. But to develop the faith, there needs to be a genuineness. When there is genuineness in you, then you automatically, the things click for you. That's what happens. And very often it just happens. It's very difficult for you to explain also. Just like when I first saw my Guru, I simply fell in love. My mind was 100% drawn to it. I went home, I told my mother, I have found him, I want to go to him. She wanted to know what it meant. How did you get to know that he is the one that you want? He is the one genuine. How do you know that he is a genuine yogi or not? All I could tell was, all I know is that I have fallen in love. Once I have fallen in love, I don't mind what he is, whether he is a great yogi or whether he is an ordinary. For me, I love, so I would like to go. So these are the things normally happen. That's how when really it happens, it is uh, impossible. When you see the best of the scenery in the nature, you become dumbfounded. So you cannot explain what it is. So the best expression is silence because you cannot express it impossible. So it is like this. Your question is also like this. And when real realization occurs also, the best expression is for the yogi is silence. That is why it is said the yogi conveys his message when he is totally at silence. The presence of such a yogi needs to be experienced to believe or become aware of it.